Welcome back, Rasala Mukhala Malena, known Lalona, Soul of Jazz. Before the ad break, we enjoyed some good soul classic. And before we go, we are going to talk about the jazz and the jazz. We are going to talk about our jazz moment of the week. And that is how you celebrate good jazz music. Kibila Lena got to sit down with our artist of the week, Zano, and he had a lot to say about soul, jazz, and music. In this cold weather out there, we are here to heat things up with our man of the hour and our artist of the week, Mr. Zano. Zano, welcome. Thank you so much, man. It feels so good to be back on Soul of Jazz. Yes, you are no stranger to the Soul <laughs> of Jazz. Piece. Yes. So, Zano, um, the last time that we were together, you were um, busy, you know, with, yes. with, with dreams and goals and yes. visions, you know, besides your, your, your previous fame. Yes. The year 2017 has saw you acquire a new level, you know, yes. of recognition yes. with your hit single that we are recognizing here at Soul of Jazz because yes. it is soulful and it is just, there's something 
that makes you belong like yeah. in that song yeah. so if for people that know, don't know what i'm talking about let's just give them a little taste on what they might have heard in their radio Alrighty. Uh, Goba. Na bangani ba pilis mizi. Whoa, yeah, bo. Na bangani ba pilis mizi. Ooh. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you do that? How do you infuse your Afrocentric soulness yeah. in everything that you touch? Um, I think it's just, a, it's just a realization that, you know, like I, 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 I grew up with a lot of R&B music, you know, like back then, um, we used to call it the soft yeah, you know, the soft, soft music. Oh, they soft to call music, it soft music. Yes. <laughs> like you listen, you listen to the radio, listen to the to 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 what they're playing on TV, and that's what they refer to it. And uh, I grew up with a lot of like English English music, and as I grew up musically, I just started to get attracted more to more Afrocentric music. Yes. You know, and just how they interpreted. Um, urban styles of music, urban music of that time, yeah. with the with the Africanness, yes. for lack of a better way of putting it. And uh, an authentic that's, sound. That's a very authentic sound, yeah. you know. And that's what I've as an artist, mm -hmm. that's just what I've been trying to portray and that's what I've been trying to just drive across yes. in my music. Yeah. So you are passionate about music to a point that you are now teaching music. You know, how vital is it, do you think, uh, for us to carry, you know, the, 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 the African soul baton even through teaching the next generation about music? I think a generation that, uh, especially a generation of musicians, that doesn't get a good education um, would definitely be a lost generation. Yes. And um, having come, uh, 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 as well as like myself, having um, come from a background of um, um, studying music, mm -hmm. um, graduating with a diploma in jazz and popular music, I just felt it very important to go back and just give back to students, to give back to the young up and coming musicians. Yes. Um, I'm a songwriting and performance lecturer at AFTA. Yeah. Uh, started uh, this year in 2017. And I mean, it's been a brilliant ride and it's just made me realize uh, just how, how much young musicians need us. Yeah. Just how much young musicians need musicians that have been there, you know. So I'm having a, a, a great time imparting that Afrocentricness, yes. you know, to the students. Yeah. So what is it that a young, uh, music student, you know, will yeah. get from a Zanor lesson? For me, I'm a uh, songwriter first. I'm a producer um, who just happens to know how to sing. Yes. <laughs> That's how I always uh, uh, define myself. And uh, being a songwriting lecturer really just helps me in, you know, just imparting the passion that I have in me and the passion for the technique of songwriting. Yes. Uh, not just um, just winging it and just writing a song and just seeing where it goes. There's ways to write songs. There's ways to produce music. Yeah. And um, students, I think, in my class, yeah. um, students are able to um, get the knowledge that they need in order for them to be relevant in the music industry outside of the campus, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, that's also another thing. A lot of guys who study music, when they go out into the real world, they they find it very hard to adjust. So um, that's one of the things, just balancing between the academics mm -hmm. and the real world. And that is what my students get in my class. So with your new single, um, Imizi, yes. um, it, it, it got a little bit of uh, mixed emotions, you know, yeah. especially from um, Zano followers, yes. you know, because we know you to always have that melodic, soulful sound and in 2016 i think you released a soul and r&b soul and r&b ep is yes, called the emily ep the emily ep and now with imiz it just as you sang it now a cappella it yes. sounds soulful but the commercial uh, track is yes. on a on a house beat yes how did you feel about that mixed reaction um so i've got this motto that i have um, i've had i think since the start of my career and i said i would like to take house music from the club to the concert hall. Mm -hmm. And um, that carries through in my music. 
you know, through the music education, I'm able to take whatever type of music and interpret it in a way that I would like to interpret it. I'm a, an, an avid follower, an avid fan of soul music. Yeah. So even if I get a house music beat, I'll always interpret it um, within the soul music genre. I mean, we are in soul of jazz yeah. as well. Hello. <laughs> um, so I, I, I know that a lot of people are concerned because they thought, oh, so Zano is now an R&B artist or an yeah. Afro soul artist because I dropped the Emily EP. But um, I remember when I dropped the EP, I said, artists are not to be boxed into yeah. a genre. You can't just say, just because I released a house music song that I'm a house music vocalist. Or just because I released an R&B song that I'm an R&B vocalist. Yeah. I'm a vocalist, period. Yes. What I wanted to do and what I keep driving in my music is the fact that artists need to be as diverse as possible. Artists need to learn as much as possible about other genres and be able to interpret them convincingly. Yes. Which I think is what we did with Imizi which is what I think we did with the Soul and R&B EP called the Emily EP that we released last year. Right. Before we let you go, yes, um, what is Zano's footprint in the SA and the world music scene? Um, my footprint is uh, the musicality. Um, really, that's just the legacy that I want to leave. You know, I, 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 I want to leave a legacy of a pioneering spirit, um, pioneering the, crea the creativity within our industry. Uh, pioneering the education, you yeah. know, in, within our music industry, and um, being able to just let's just to go back and um, um, go back to the whole purpose and the reason of why we do the music. Mm -hmm. uh, my next album is going to be called The Messenger. Yes. The reason why I call it The Messenger is because I'm going back to the core of why we have music, why we had Ains or Migatosa. You know, uh, when they talk about um, uh, uh, um, what in uh, Hollywood we call fairy tales. Okay. You know, we used to have Inz Omi, you know, as African kids. And they used to um, be told to us as a lesson. Mm -hmm. Music is supposed to convey a message. Well, let's quickly just touch on your youth project. Yes. Um, so I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm big on the education and, uh, and training um, right now. Mm -hmm. So um, starting from the month of August, we are going around to different communities, especially in Malukshini, especially in churches, uh, especially in community groups, uh, community initiatives that are out there that, are, that have already been started. And we are going to be providing free training, uh, free mentorship programs. And I'm not a big fan of workshops. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I feel like workshops are a waste because it's a once-off thing. And what I'm doing is, um, is, the, is, the, is the clean cut, uh, we call it the clean cut mentorship program. Okay. Where we take in young artists, whether they are painters, whether they are poets, okay. whether they are musicians, uh, actors. And uh, we are going to be a portal um, for, 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 as a connection between people that they respect mm -hmm. in their respective industries. Um, that will come in and train them and impart knowledge mm -hmm. so that they can go out into the world and do amazing things. That's amazing. So yeah. why can people um, let you know if they want to be part of the mm. development program? Very simple. Um, you can just contact me on my social media. I run my own social media, by the way. So you, uh, you so the person responding is you. So it gets straight to me. You. Don't worry. <laughs> it's me responding. So on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, it's Zano Urban, Z-A-N-O, U R B A N Zano mm -hmm. Urban on Twitter, Zano Urban on Facebook, Zano Urban on Instagram. Get in touch with me. Yes. You know, let's have a chat. Let's see. Let's see what we can do for you. All right. And in three words, what does soul and jazz mean to you? you? Can tell everybody at home. Life, love, and authenticity. That is what soul and jazz means to me. Love it. Life, love, and authenticity. Yes. Well, Zano, in the midst of this cold, I think that we sure hit things up with your single and this interview. So all the best. And here at Soul of Jazz, we're behind you all the way. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Yeah. Well, hope that you enjoyed my sit down with our man of the hour and our artist of the week, Zano. But please don't go far because after the break, we still have more of that good soul and jazz for nobody else but you. Can I put you on the spot yes. before we go? Um, just sing one hook of a song that you think you are most popularly known by. My life is no lie, babe. <laughs> Whatever it takes, I will make you mine. My love is no lie, baby. No lie, no lie.